What is up, comic creators? Uh, so today we're going to go over how to add keyframes in iMovie. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up iMovie here. The big thing to understand is that um, there is no actual functionality to add keyframes into your footage or your audio within iMovie like there is in other software uh, out there like Adobe and things like that. So I'm basically going to show you a workaround uh, how to uh, do uh, in iMovie what you could do with keyframes in say like Adobe Premiere. So uh, the first thing you want to do is let's go ahead and work on video footage first but in your timeline you want to move your cursor over to the part of your video footage where you want the changes you're going to make start so if you had a keyframe this is your first keyframe that you're adding in and within the two keyframes you're going to alter your footage in some way and so that's what you're telling the software so you'll drag your cursor over uh, to the section where you want the changes to start so for this I have this box in my footage I'm gonna zoom in on my footage here and I'm gonna kinda scroll all the way down to where this uh, box first opens up uh, as I'm making changes in my dashboard on YouTube in this footage so about right here I'll click there um, and then I will actually split the clip so you can go command B or you can right click and split clip if you don't have the right click function on your Mac at the very top left hand corner um, of your screen you'll have a bunch of options to edit your footage you make sure your video is highlighted and you can see all these options here but you're actually going to click on uh, modify in your top left hand side of your screen um, and when you click on modify you'll see the option to split the clip you just have to make sure that the clip that you want to split is highlighted when you do that so now you have that and you have that clip split and so where you want the keyframe to end or the alteration to end you're gonna go ahead and select that spot on the timeline and so the with iMovie the longer the footage is uh, the longer the change can be dragged out if you're using Ken Burns or if you do shorter uh, the shorter it's going to be if you want like that comedic effect so now I have this clip split here so let's say we were gonna go for a short time frame you click this box top right hand corner and you have two options you have crop to fill and you have Ken Burns crop to fill is just gonna be a jump cut type thing if I alter it it'll just jump right into the next uh, keyframe there's not going to be any changes or slow or fast changes over time so as I crop this if I were to leave it like this you would actually see it jump right into that crop with no change and uh, you'll see that now as you watch here it just kind of cuts pops up out of nowhere that's how that works um, and then it ends where the crop where the clip is cut and so that's your that is your air quote keyframe right there now if you wanted the slow change over time you go up here uh, in the uh, top right hand corner again and if you click on that uh, box in the top right hand corner you'll actually have the option to um, uh, to actually do what's called a Ken Burns effect so I'm gonna undo this split clip here uh, command Z undo that's your that's your thing and I'm gonna make this a little bit longer so I'm gonna split it right there so now I have this longer clip here that I've split and I'm gonna go up to the top right hand corner click the box and I have Ken Burns so Ken Burns has a start point and an end point and if you uh, alter your end point there you'll actually have the footage kind of zoom in over time and so this is a, a relatively longer piece or clip that we're doing this with and so you'll see here now that I get it lined up um, you can rotate it and all this kind of stuff if you want to make it super funky uh, but I'm just gonna keep it like that um, obviously I just click the rotates and I gotta line this back up again kinda of frustrating uh, but we'll go ahead and line that back up and get that centered and then um, you click the check mark top right hand corner now when you go, go to play it it'll you'll see it actually slowly zooms in and then um, and once it's at the end of the clip it's gonna bounce back to normal so let's show you this different one now so now I'm, I'm just gonna undo all of this and I'm going to make it shorter so if I wanted it to move faster you just make it shorter split the clip make the clip shorter and then the change will be faster in the Ken Burns effect because it has the start to end in fact a lot of people do this for that comedic effect when they're zooming into something so that's how you uh, basically do the keyframes within um, video right here and you get that quick change going 
um, and then obviously on this clip here if you want to keep that change you got to crop it down um, to where you had it in the other one so that way you don't lose the change if you wanted to keep it zoomed in so if you click uh, click the check mark once you do that um, it'll uh, keep playing at that split clip the way you had it so as you can see here I'm adjusting this uh, so that way it matches and everything lines up so now when I play through the clip um, it'll play and it'll have the zoom in effect and then when it gets into the next clip it stays right there and now you've got that fully zoomed in uh, once you edit that other clip to meet or match using the crop to fill function uh, match to what you had that Ken Burns uh, set up to. So that is a basic overview of keyframes within video so now we're going to talk about keyframes within audio same basic concept so I have split my clip where I want the changes to take place using the same uh, principle as before and then where you want the changes to end you split the clip there with audio and that is essentially your keyframe start and keyframe end point where you're going to make alterations and you can alter the audio level you can fade in fade out using those little bars on the side um, and then some people do like a wonky sound if you're trying to make like a, a funny part you can actually uh, alter the audio up at the top right hand corner um, when you click on the little three circles you can click on audio uh, different audio effects you can do and you can make the audio sound really wonky but that is your uh, basic keyframe for audio as well if you're making changes there so same basic concepts like I did in video works just the same way in audio as well if you're trying to make changes so that's how you do it alright guys I hope this video helped you I hope you found it resourceful please like share and subscribe uh, it definitely helps the channel comment below if you have any questions and I will catch you guys next time